Hey CFS Warriors, it's Victoria coming to you from Maui. Is this just amazing? That's the West Maui Mountains off there in the distance. And I don't know if you can see that's Koholawe. And Molokini is a small rim of a volcano, like a crescent shaped volcano rim out in the ocean. I don't know if you can see it in this shot. It's out there. But um, anyway, I just want to talk to you about some important qualities that you need for CFS recovery. And I think the first one that comes to mind is absolute undying determination. And the, you know what it reminds me of is if you've ever been in the ocean and been billowed by the waves, that's kind of what happens when you've got CFS. You get hit once and then you get hit again and again and again before you can even get your balance again is what it feels like. And so you need determination to weather those blows. You know, they're gonna come at times, but if you can keep getting back up and moving forward smartly, not pushing yourself, but getting back up and moving forward. So you need undying determination. You also obviously need patience because it does take patience to try different things, to find what works for you. And so you're gonna need a lot of patience. Another thing you need is resilience. Again, like, when you get hit or you've gotten disappointed again because yet another setback or whatever, you need resilience. You need to know that you're gonna be able to come through this. And that's it, you need belief as well. Belief is so important because if you're wavering, it's like um, having a destination on Google Maps. If, if I'm gonna say, okay, I wanna go here and I don't have a destination to put in, it can't give me a map to where I'm going. So you need a destination and an end point of where you're going. And so obviously for me, it was, I wanna to go to full recovery. You know, they say it can't be done, but that's what I'm going for. And I've seen others do it, so I know that it is possible. Um, you also need little points along your destination before you get to full recovery. So you can celebrate your wins and you can see the ground that you have come, the, the ground that you have progressed. So obviously you need the will to get back up over and over again. And I was thinking about this. I was thinking about my journey in recovery and how often I felt like I just was not progressing. And it really helped me to have mentors and coaches in my life. So I think you need a teachable spirit and an inquisitive spirit. We need to be open and we need to be somewhat humble to learn from other people. And so if you can't afford coaching due to the illness, you know, there's so much free content now online with uh, CFS Health and Optimum Health Clinic and so many others of people that have recovered, like my channel, there are other channels like that where you can tune in and learn from people. And you gotta think outside of the box. So that's another trait you wanna have is out of the box thinking. Because if you're in the box, you're gonna listen to the, what the medical community says, that there is no cure, you're gonna have to live with this the rest of your life. So you can do that, or you can choose to think out of the box and be open to alternative ways of healing. That's another important characteristic is you wanna be able to listen to, honor, and follow your intuition. Because you know, your body knows what it needs and you need to listen to it and stop fighting it. Stop the critical voices that don't let you take a break and rest when you need to rest. And uh, listen to your intuition about which person's advice to follow about what the next step is for you um, but always be taking a next step you know always be looking at a new direction and uh, whether it's you know after you've done something for a period of time you know after you've done like if you've been following one program for six months and you've kind of hit a plateau be ready and willing to go and do something different that's going to help progress you let's see what else you ah oh, you need to be a dreamer and the reason why I say that is because without dreaming, you may never make it out of bed. You've got to dream and see yourself in the future, recovered. And if you can't see yourself, borrow from me, borrow from someone else you know who's recovered, because that's going to help your body know the direction that you're going in. So being a dreamer is really important when you've got CFS. Because you know what? I used to dream about this. And now here I am. So that can happen for you as well. 
So don't give up on your dreams. Know that you can come through. I'm so sorry about all the shade on my face and blotchy sunlight, but there it is. Um, yeah, that's it, warriors. I know you can do this. Stick with it. Never give up. And remember, life's not over. It's starting again. And I speak life, health, and wholeness over you. <sighs> Just breathing in this air. It's so amazing. This water is so amazing and gorgeous.